portion. This is an engineering, it's kind of cool. And this little picture, if you're looking for it, came from right here, engineeringstudents.co.uk. So the animation shows two gears in mesh. That means that they're not hitting each other, they're working great. And gear A has 20 teeth, and gear B has 40 teeth. This means that gear A will travel through two complete turns for every one complete turn of gear B. So if you want to watch it here for a second, you see that's exactly what's happening. This gives the gears a ratio of 1 to 2. You can think of gear B rotating half as much as gear A. So using the same ratio, if the larger of the two gears has 78 teeth, how many are on the smaller gear? We know that the ratio is 1 to 2. That would be A to B. So if the larger of the two gears has 78 teeth, if the larger of the two gears has 78 teeth, we need to figure out how many teeth are needed on the smaller gear. So what are we going to do? Yeah, we're going to cross multiply. So we have 1 times B equals 2 times 78. So we'll have 1 times B equals 156. Um, 1 times B is the same thing as just B. So it turns out that our B gear is going to have to have 156 gears to be in mesh with the smaller one that has 78. Well, what does that mean? Well, this one will have 78 gears and this one will have 156.